With the whole debacle that is loot boxes and loot crates, EA and Star Wars Battlefront 2 have received some much deserved hate. Only selling a little over 800,000 copies since its release, many fans had their body and their wallets open and ready to receive the highly anticipated title. Sure, the game had a lot of things it promised. Epic space battles, actual storyline no matter how abysmal or boring, and a better overall gaming experience. However, this didn't stop EA from fucking it up with their shady ways. What's up guys, it's Neriku back at it again for yet another video. I know this topic has been covered extensively here on YouTube, but now more than ever, I need you guys to hear this message once again. Sure, Battlefront 2 isn't exactly false advertisement. It has been pretty transparent in showing off in-game footage for their trailers, epic scenes of grand scale battles, and the graphics even look nice. But don't let the polish fool you. The game is based around a loot box progression system, meaning if you want to level up in the multiplayer and have better unlocks, then you better get to endlessly grinding, or better yet, just pay for what you want, right? This is not the focus of today's video. Instead, I will be analyzing EA's business practices in hopes to warn you of the dark future that is Battlefront 2. You see, thanks to the higher-ups at Disney, EA was forced to pause the loot box pay-to-win system they had in place. You notice I say pause and not end. That's because EA knows that in time they can persuade a few more customers to go out and buy this game. Just in time for the holiday season, right? And now the movie is in theaters, die-hard Star Wars fans will not be able to help themselves. They would want to live, and I use the word live here very loosely, in the Star Wars universe. They would want to geek out to their favorite characters, atmosphere, and music. And let's be real here, Star Wars Battlefront 2 did a fantastic job in showcasing this universe. Sadly, I and other gamers alike are not buying it. EA even admits to reinstating the loot box system at a later date. That's just part of their plans. Not to mention that the entire game would need a massive overhaul to make this system go away completely. Let's be real here, basing your entire game around this system makes it broken. There is no way without several hundreds of man hours of work that you would just be able to make this game great again. It is for that reason that I do not trust EA. I know that with the push of a button, they'll be able to reinstate their pay to win tactics and make up for this loss in sales. Not only this, business analysts are predicting that Battlefront 2 can still turn a hefty profit. They imagine that it can still make over $100 million in profit for EA if they manage to sell something like 12 million copies. And I'm not one here to be super hopeful, but I do know that EA is banking on this. They know that you will not be able to resist, and then boom, in an instant, you're butt raped. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you, Battlefront 2 actually does seem like a really cool game. I was even tempted to buy it myself, but because of my headstrong nature, I cannot convince myself to break my morals and go out and get this game. EA is not a trustworthy company. Sure, they've made some decent moves in the past by doing things like Origin Access or EA Access to get consumers to try out some of their older games, and I think that that was a move in the right direction, but they like to only do one thing, and that's make more money. They don't give a fuck about you, and I don't understand it. I don't see how there's never a such thing as enough with these people. EA is greedy, and they want you to be sheep and aimlessly buy their BS. They don't care about you, and they don't care about what you want. They just want the chance to fuck you over. If they could just squeeze one more dollar out of you, they're happy. You see, it's a numbers game with them. That's why they make mass market appeal games, and that's why they continue to do this bullshit. They know that people are mostly thoughtless, and the idea of an all-inclusive Titan IP like Star Wars has the potential to draw in millions. Why do you think they killed off Visceral Studios? It's because they knew that taking on a single-player game in the direction that Visceral was taking it would kill the potential to make millions. They knew that a single-player Star Wars game under the direction of Visceral would be a niche concept game, and they didn't want that. They must have thought to themselves, you know, if you do the game like that, then how can we add in the microtransactions? Where do the microtransactions go? How do we do the loot box system? And with that said, Visceral went bye-bye. They completely killed them off because they knew that there was no potential for them to continue to milk the customers for money. EA is advertising Battlefront 2 as the next big thing, when in fact it isn't. It's not much more than a Battlefield game with a Star Wars skin over the top of it. Don't fall for the trick. 
be patient. Vote with your wallet. EA needs to understand that practices like this is killing the gaming industry as a whole. It's making gaming so corporatized and so redundant, so boring that they keep recycling these titles, keep on trying to convince people to buy into this garbage, and it's really destroying gaming for me. I hope it's destroying gaming for you too so you can wake up and understand the gravity of this situation. We've already lost net neutrality. Maybe it, it won't completely pass, but as of right now, net neutrality is gone. We're gonna let EA fuck us too. We're tired of the bullshit and we need to make a stand right now. So when you guys go out and watch the new Star Wars movie, take it for what it is, watch the movie, enjoy the movie, that's fine. But don't be like, oh, you know what would be great to compliment this movie? A chance for me to go and play Battlefront 2. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We cannot forgive EA for trying this in the first place. They're gonna take this opportunity to say, okay, well, you know, if we ever do this again in the future, we can just, um, you know, take out the loot crate system and then, you know, people will forgive us and they'll still buy the game. <laughs> Fucking idiots. That's what they're gonna think. That's what they're gonna think. We're, we're just literally congratulating them for fucking us and saying, you know, it's okay, EA. It's okay. You're fine. You can keep doing this crap and we'll just let you do it. All right, guys, that's enough for me. Remember to like this video if you did and subscribe if you're new. With that said, I'm Neriku and I will see each and every one of you weird AF bofos in the next video. Peace.